Barry Smith, you must be very proud of your players after that performance and result. Yeah, I thought it was a fantastic game of football. Um, it was end to end. We've rode our luck a few times, but when it comes down to it, we've had good chances as well. Reese Brown's had a couple of good chances, and the other day he scores. Um, so a fantastic game of football for the fans, and you know I'm delighted that the fans have come through here today. That we've, we've gone away with a point because it's you know a difficult place to come. And that's it. It must be one of the most exhilarating, exciting nil nils that everyone's seen in a long time. Yeah, as I say, it was end to end stuff. Um, you know, and it was great. Um, both teams try to play attacking football. Uh, it, Gary's got his side playing some good stuff, but we also played some good stuff as well. Um, so, no, it was brilliant. And as I say, you know, the fans backed us throughout the 90 minutes, uh, which is brilliant for the players, and I think they were rewarded with that, with the point at the end of it. And there was the resilience, the spirit, but as you said, with Reese Brown, the ambition as well, and you yeah. could have nicked a goal. Yeah, I mean, we definitely defended cross balls a lot better um, tonight. Um, we defended as a team um, very well, we got into good areas. Um, there's all, the other position's always going to get chances, um, but as I say, we also had chances, you know, through good play and hard work. And maybe you already admitted it, the team rode its luck at times a little bit, but maybe that's the justice kind of things balancing itself out after Saturday, maybe? Yeah, well, I think when the fans see the effort that the players are putting in, then maybe was, it's justified to be a bit of luck that we got, you know. Um, but, you know, I thought, as I keep saying, we've, always, we've also had chances. Um, but you know, it's it, it, coming to Cheltenham is a difficult place to come. Just you know, come down a division. Um, so it's a good point to take home. And it, in the first 10-15 minutes, it was quite a storm to weather. But from there, the team grew in confidence and, and grew in grew into the game. Oh, definitely. You know, it, 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 they came out of the traps quicker than us tonight. Um, but we rode that storm to start off with. We built ourselves into the game, um, and then we started creating opportunities. Um, but you know, there's. Uh, I keep saying I'm not a finished article and there's a lot of stuff to come from us and we will get better. Is there maybe a little bit of disappointment maybe that it isn't more than a point? It's a good point. You know, we obviously want to come and win games, um, but it's a, it's a good point here at Cheltenham. Um, ones the, the fans will look back and say it was a great game, a great spirited performance by our players and they worked ever so hard and showed the fitness levels that they've got. And that's that's the the sort of blueprint for being hard to beat, which is vital in this division, particularly away from home. Definitely, you know, as I keep saying, Cheltenham are a very good team. Um, you know, and to weather that storm and to work as hard as they did to try and to prevent them from scoring, um, will hit, hold us in good stead. And now confidence going to Wrexham, another big game, a difficult game, one of the promotion favourites on Saturday. This will give the team massive confidence. Yeah, and there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance, and we don't want to go over that line. We take the confidence and the positive, the positive aspects of the, the game today, um, but we must do the exact same thing: concentration levels for 90 minutes, 95 minutes, and make sure that we work as hard as what we did tonight, and we'll not be far away. And that's that's the thing: the best players they don't rely on their ability, they don't get arrogant, they keep working as hard as they have done. That has got them the previous results. Definitely, and this team are like that. That you know they'll work hard for that shot. Um, they'll give everything they've got, uh, and you know that's how you get results. Barry, just a quick word on Sam Hatton. Uh, wasn't in his sight time. We understand he had a bad back. Is it? Not well. He, I don't know if you remember. He got the knock on Saturday when the keeper clattered into him, um, and he took a wee reaction last night. Um, so. He's been sent for X-rays. I don't know the X-ray results yet. So, so it, you're not, not expecting it to be t uh, particularly serious. So. Well, mm. as I say, I'm getting the X-ray results, so oh. I can't really comment. Okay. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> no, fair enough. Thanks, mate. No problem. Cheers.